If you're thinking of building an octagon box blind, but you're undecided or unsure of how you want to do the corners, or more specifically the corner studs, here's a short demonstration on how I like to do it. The first thing you're going to need is one 2x4 for each corner, and whether your box blind is 5, 6, 7, 8 feet tall, that's up to you. Um, just excuse me. I'm going to use a short 2x4 here just for the demonstration. Uh, and the only tool you're really going to need is a table saw. So the first thing I do with my table saw is I put the blade up as far as it'll go. Second, set the blade angle to 22 and a half degrees. Third, set your rip fence two inches from the inside edge or inside cutting tooth of the right, in this case, the right hand side of the cutting tooth where it meets the table. And then run a two by four through. And if you've done it right, you'll have two inches left over on the bottom of the one you ripped through, and you'll have two inches left over on the top of the outside piece that you cut off. And then you just flip it over, put them together, run some screws in there, or if you're going to build it on, you know, in your shop and take it out to the field with you, you can attach your plywood to each side and then end up screwing the corners together at a later time. But me, I build them build them whole in my shop. So I screw them together just like that. So there you go. There's one of eight of the corner studs for your octagon box blind.